Hey there, friends! Today we're going to read a story. This one is called Dora's Eggs. And the book was written by Julie Sykes, and the pictures were drawn by Jane Chapman. Now, what can you see on the cover of this book? Can you identify what animal is this? A chicken. We have a chicken right here. And what is the chicken laying on? Do you know? It might be her eggs. So possibly this is Dora and these are her eggs, Dora's eggs, just like the cover says. Let's find out if we're right. Look at that, it is Dora was sitting on a nest of eggs. They were shiny brown and smooth to touch. These are my very first eggs, clucked Dora proudly. I must get all my friends to come and admire them. So Dora here is so proud. She has some brand new eggs that are shiny brown and smooth. Do you know what smooth feels like? Smooth. Let's see. Let's think of something that could be smooth. If you feel your hand, the top of your hand, our, the top of our hands is smooth. The skin is smooth. We have smooth skin. That's kind of like what she's saying the eggs feel like. Dora climbed out of the hen house and into the farmyard. Who shall I visit first? She wondered. I know. I'll go and find Debbie Duck. Look, there's Dora. She's climbing out of the hen house. And what is that she's leaving there? Those are her eggs. She's leaving the eggs behind. And she's going to go find her friend, Debbie Duck. Dora hopped over the fence and across the field until she reached the pond. Hello, Debbie, she called. Would you like to come see my eggs? I can't come now, quacked Debbie. I'm teaching my babies to swim. Dora stood watching the ducklings splashing around and learning to paddle. Somehow she felt a bit less excited. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those fluffy ducklings are much nicer. So look, here's Debbie Duck, and she's teaching all of her little ducklings how to swim. And seeing the little ducklings is making Dora a little sad. She wants some fluffy ducklings instead of just some eggs. Dora was just a little sad as she trotted over to the sty to visit Penny Pig. Hello, Penny, she clucked. Would you like to come see my eggs? But Penny didn't hear. She was having too much fun tumbling around with her wriggly piglets. Dora gave a little sigh. <sighs> my eggs are nice, she thought but those wriggly piglets are much nicer. So here's her uh, another friend, Penny Pig. And look at this, she has little piglets with her. And it's making Dora a little sad. She doesn't want just eggs, she wants someone fun that she can play with like these little piglets. Dora gave another little sigh as she climbed the hill to find Sally Sheep. 
Would you like to come and see my eggs? She asked Sally. Not today, bleated Sally. I'm too busy keeping an eye on my lambs. Look at this, so here's our sheep and here's her little lambs. Dora looked at the lambs frolicking in the field. She felt rather glum. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those playful lambs are much nicer. So once again, Dora's feeling a little sad. She doesn't want eggs, she wants something like these lambs to look after. Very sadly, Dora walked back to the farmyard. On her way, she bumped into Daisy Dog. Hello, Daisy, clucked Dora. Would you like to come see my eggs? Sorry, Dora, barked Daisy, wagging her tail. I can't come now. I'm taking my puppies for a walk. Dora was beginning to feel quite miserable. My eggs are nice, she thought, but those cute puppies out for a walk are much nicer. So look, she bumped into another friend. This is her friend Daisy Dog. And who does Daisy Dog have with her? She has all of her puppies and they're going for a walk. And Dora's like, I don't want just eggs. I want something like these puppies to go for a walk. In the farmyard, Dora stopped at the cow shed. She wished she felt happier. Perhaps Clarissa the cow would cheer her up. Would you like to see my eggs? She called. What do you think Clarissa the cow's response will be? Shh, mooed Clarissa softly, nodding at the straw. Snuggled up by her feet was a newborn calf, fast asleep. Dora wanted to cry. My eggs are nice, she whispered. But that little calf all snuggled up is much nicer. Look at that. Dora doesn't want just eggs. She wants something like this calf that will snuggle up with her when it sleeps. Dora walked back across the yard in the sunlight and climbed into the hen house. Her eggs were just as she had left them, smooth and brown and very still. My eggs are nice, sighed Dora, fluffing out her feathers, but everyone else's babies are much nicer. Oh, poor Dora, she's feeling sad. What do you think is going to happen? Let's find out. Very sadly, Dora settled herself down onto her nest. Crack! Dora jumped up in surprise. What do you think happened? Oh no, cried Dora. I've broken them. Tears began to roll down her face. They splashed onto the nest and over the cracked eggs. As each tear fell, the cracks grew wider and wider. <gasps> she thinks that her eggs are broken. Look at that. They have cracks in them. And she is horrified. Her poor eggs. <gasps> Until suddenly, up popped a fluffy head. Then another and another. <gasps> What's happening? Soon the nest was full of tiny chicks. Cheep, cheep. The chicks peeped. Cheep, cheep. Dora stopped crying and stared at her babies. <gasps> her eggs hatched and now she has little tiny chicks. Do you think that cheered Dora up? Let's find out.
It didn't matter that the eggs were broken. The new chicks were everything Dora had ever wanted. Proudly, she strutted out into the farmyard, and one by one, the chicks followed after her. All the animals stopped and looked. Why, Dora, quacked Debbie, they're as fluffy as my ducklings. And Wrigley, like my piglets, oinked Penny. They're as playful as my lambs, bad Sally. And you can take them for walks, just like my puppies, barked Daisy. But best of all, mewed Clarissa, your chicks can snuggle up to you like my calf snuggles up to me. <laughs> Cluck, said Dora happily, agreeing with her friends. My eggs were nice, but my chicks are much, much nicer. Look at that she wanted what all of her friends had with their babies. And now that the chicks have hatched out of the eggs, she has all that and more. So she is very happy again. The end. Thank you for listening to our story, Dora's Eggs. I hope you enjoyed the story and I will see you next time. Bye.